Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is square root of x plus square root of y, this is equal to 13. Let's call this equation 1 and that x minus y, this is equal to 65, let's call this equation 2. And given that x is not equal to y and that x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y? Let's prevent a solution from here. Now, the first thing to do here, we can express x, this is the same thing as square root of x raised to power 2. And we can express y as square root of y raised to power 2. So, substituting this in equation 2 from here, this implies we have square root of x raised to power 2 minus square root of y raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 65. You find that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two squares, which we can express as a plus b, and then a minus b. From this equation, we have that a is equal to square root of x, and we have that b is equal to square root of y. So this implies that a plus b from here, this is square root of x plus square root of y. And we have that a minus b, this is the square root of x, subtract square root of y. So this implies that here we have square root of x plus square root of y multiplied by square root of x minus square root of y this is equal to 65 from here now we have that square root of x plus square root of y this is what we have in equation 1 which is square root of x plus square root of y this is equal to 13 so let's substitute 13 from here. So here we have 13 multiplied by square root of x minus square root of y. This is equal to 65. The next step from here, let's divide both signs by 13. So 13 and 13 simplifies. So that now we have square root of x minus square root of y. This is equal to 65 divided by 13, and this is equal to 5. So this is equal to 5. Now, the next step from here, let's make square root of x to be the subject of the formula. So that now we have, this is equal to 5 plus square root of y. Now, from what we have here, we can substitute square root of x into equation 1. From equation 1, which is square root of x plus square root of y, this is equal to 13. Now let's substitute square root of x, which is 5 plus square root of y. So we have 5 plus square root of y plus square root of y, this is equal to 13. Therefore, here we have 5 plus square root of y plus square root of y. This is 2 square root of y. This is equal to 13. So the next step from here. Therefore, here we have 5 plus 2 square root of y. This is equal to 13. So we have 2 square root of y. This is equal to 13. Let's take 5 on the right hand side minus 5. So 2 square root of y, this is equal to 13 minus 5, and this is equal to 8. So this implies that a, to solve for y, we square both signs from here. So that now, here we have 2 squared, remember 2 multiplied by square root of y squared, this is in the form of a, b, raised to power n, 
which you can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. So applying this exponent property from here, this, this is the same thing as 2 squared times square root of y raised to power 2. This is equal to 8 squared, which is 64. So 2 squared, this is 4, multiplying by square root of y raised to power 2. This implies we eliminate the square root sign, so times y, this is equal to 64. So here we have 4y, this is equal to 64. So let's divide both signs by 4. And this implies that 64 divided by 4, this is equal to 16. So therefore, y is equal to 16. y is equal to 16 from here. The next step is to solve for the value of x. Now, if you recall, we have that square root of x. This is equal to 5 plus square root of y. So this implies that here we have square root of x. This is equal to 5 plus square root of y. y is equal to 16 from here. So therefore, we have square root of x. This is equal to 5 plus square root of 16. This is equal to 4. And therefore, here we have square root of x. This is equal to 5 plus 4. This is equal to 9. So therefore, we have square root of x is equal to 9. So to solve for x, let's square both signs. Let's square both signs from here. So square root of x raised to power 2. This implies we eliminate the square root sign. And therefore, the value of x is equal to 9 squared, which is equal to 81. So now we have the value of x, which is 81. So we have value of x, which is 81, and we have the value of y, which is 16. This is the set of solution that we have. x equal to 81, y equal to 16. Now the next step is to check. Let's check if these values of x and y satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall from here, we have that equation 1 is equal to square root of x plus square root of y. This should give us a value of 13. This is equation 1. Equation 2 here is x minus y. This is supposed to give us a value of 65. So let's substitute the values of x and y from here. Now, from equation 1, we have square root of 81 plus square root of 16. This is supposed to give us a value of 13. Square root of 81, this is 9, plus square root of 16, this is 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 13. 9 plus 4, this is equal to 13, which is equal to 13. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x and y satisfies equation 1. So let's check equation 2 from here. So we have 81 minus 16. This is supposed to give us a value of 65 from here. 81 minus 16, this is equal to 65, which is equal to 65. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x and y, which is 81 and 16, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video. Like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe now see you in the next video bye bye